latest on September 6th around the wide world of tropics. Here's your tropical weather bulletin. Several tropical cyclones are active around the world. There are six named storms on the radar and three hurricane equivalent cyclones at this time. Dotted all around the world this September 6th, it's day 249 of the year. Hurricane Dorian is a Category 2 just off the coast of North Carolina now. Tropical Storm Gabrielle uh, struggling in the eastern Atlantic to invest out as well. In the eastern Pacific, Hurricane Juliet is weakening. Tropical Storm Akoni has just formed. We've finally got that Central Pacific name of the year. And in the western Pacific, Ling Ling is still holding on to Category 4, whilst Faxai has got its name and is headed for, towards Japan. No systems are active in the southern hemisphere at this time, yet again, it's all quiet here. Well, Hurricane Dorian is located just off the coast of North Carolina, very close to Cape Fear. 105 miles per hour, pressure of 964 millibars, 30 miles from Southport, North Carolina. Uh, it is likely to move towards the northeast and it will brush past the uh, North Carolina coast and possibly make landfall further towards the north, possibly on Cape Lookout, maybe a little bit further east. Then it will accelerate out towards the open ocean, but eventually reach Nova Scotia as a transitioning cyclone turning post-tropical could strike Nova Scotia with hurricane force winds, definitely tropical storm force for some areas. And this is Typhoon Ling Ling, which is just about holding on to Category 4 status, although it could drop below that very soon. 130 miles per hour, estimated pressure 930 millibars. It is starting to get lower sea surface temperatures, 206, 226 miles from Taizhou, China, 27.9 north, 125.1 degrees east. This storm is expected to weaken uh, rather quickly, but not quickly enough for parts of South Korea and North Korea as well. The re western part of the peninsula will get struck this weekend by a weakening typhoon and it could deliver significant amounts of rainfall and a storm surge to those coastal regions. It will move way off the map by the time we get to Tuesday. Here's a look at Dorian today. Um, wind shear to its north is rather high according to this graphic. Lower amounts further towards the south. Wind shear will gradually rise eventually, especially by the time we get to tomorrow night when it will rise up a steep cliff. Sea surface temperatures declining and so is the storm's intensity at long last. It is still a mid-range Category 2. Here's a look at the whole of the North Atlantic, so you can see Dorian quite clearly on that imagery. You can also see Gabrielle, which is struggling a little bit, Invest 94L out there near the coast of Africa, developing, could develop into a mild tropical cyclone in the Atlantic this week. Uh, we're not seeing any indications of anything much stronger than that at this moment. And this is a look at the closer view in the Gulf of Mexico, um, the remnants of Fernand still there. The Eastern Pacific looks like this, you can see Juliet not looking quite as well as it used to, it's got that effect that we often see with storms entering those cooler sea surface temperatures, it's just winding down and you can see Arconi there into the central part of the Pacific, quite far to the southeast of the Hawaiian Islands, it should pass safely to the south of the islands, um, but keep watching just in case, you never know. The Western Pacific looks like this. Faxai quite visible there, a new Invest 95W down near Guam, 93W not far from the Philippines, not much of it though, and of course Typhoon Ling Ling is unmistakable there on that imagery, South China Sea quiet for the first time in quite a while, nothing going on there, just a bit of convection. The Australian South Pacific region is extremely quiet at this point. Usually we see a bit of convection over the small Solomon Islands. There is a little bit, but not as much as we usually see. Just a few thunderstorms, really, for the region. And in the Indian Ocean, uh, monsoonal patterns still continuing there, mainly in the Bay of Bengal, along the western part of the Indian coast. Also a few showers, but generally on the continent in the interior, not much rain falling. The sea surface temperatures around the world look like this. The eastern Pacific remain remaining fairly warm, 30 degrees or more along the coast of Mexico. The Gulf of Mexico very warm 29 to 30 degrees generally. A big upwelling trend there behind Dorian and where Gabrielle is temperatures only marginal and that's why it is struggling at the minute. In the Arabian Sea temperatures fairly cool towards the west but warmer in the east and in the Bay of Bengal. It's um, Yep, favourable there as well. The Western Pacific, a little bit cooler after all of that cyclone activity. Further east, there is much more fuel, very warm waters around the Mariana Islands and east of there. 
This is the latest floater imagery on Typhoon Ling Ling. The eye starting to cloud up and we could see a collapse of the eye wall very soon. Unlike Dorian where it went on forever, Ling Ling will probably weaken quite, quite quickly as it ventures towards the north moving at quite a rapid pace as well. It will affect the Korean islands though, the Korean peninsula with significant force though in the next two or three days. Hurricane Dorian looking like this, a discernible northeastward movement. It is just continuing to parallel the coast, getting ever closer each time we look at it. It is now around 25 miles from the closest point of land. Whether it makes a landfall or not is still yet to be determined, but the storm does continue to get closer with hurricane force winds very close now to the coast. The next name on the Atlantic hurricane list is Humberto in the Eastern Pacific. We're looking out for Kiko. Now that we've finally got Akoni, I can say that I can that we're looking for Ima next on the list. And in the Western Pacific, the next name on the list there is Paypa. In the North Indian Ocean, we're looking out for Hika as well on their list eight. You can find Force 13's outlets the website, force13.com, with the latest. Our YouTube page, search Force 13. Subscribe if you haven't so far, and you can find us on Facebook and Twitter if you'd like to get in touch on there as well. It's Force 13. Search Facebook on, and Twitter for our handle, and get in touch with us on any of those platforms. We'll be back again with another Tropical Weather Bulletin tomorrow. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force 13. With a special thanks to these people for being our most valued patrons this month. You can also check out our growing merch store so you can show force 13's colors wherever you go. You can also find a link to our discord server underneath this video in the description.